Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel 3 Dias. So guys, this is the part 6 video of our video tutorial series of this paper cutter knife 3D modeling inside Autodesk Fusion 360. So there are total 6 videos and uh, you will be able to find all the videos description in the link below. If you have not watched those videos, then I will strongly recommend you to go and check it out. Then come to this video. This is the last uh, part of the this video tutorial series so in this video in this video i'm going to explain you about how we can apply logo on our 3d model how we can apply realistic material on our 3d model that we had created so right now on your screen here you can see that this is the complete assembly 3d model that we had created and it has four components here you can see that and all the components we had also applied joints limits so here you can see we are able to move our parts uh, between the limits so this way we had modeled everything and you will able to find the complete process in if you will you will watch the complete playlist you will learn the complete process how we can model this inside fusion 360 so if you are just new to this channel i will strongly uh, request you to please subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so whenever i am releasing contents like this you will be able to get the notification about that so be without wasting time let's dive into fusion 360 and start doing the things so here we are into Fusion 360 and right now on your screen you can see that this is the model that we had completed in our uh, four video uh, last four videos. So here you can see it has four components and we had also applied joints on this com between these components. So here you can see these are the joints we had applied with all the limits and everything. So all the parts are movable and this way we had finished our model. So in this video we are going to apply materials on all the components on all these components to make it look more realistic uh, like our original blade cutter so for that what we can do now uh, there is one more thing that i want to share with you in this video is that there is a feature called if you will go on to here on this construct or this inspect panel option here you will find a component color cycling tool so if you have multiple components inside your assemblies like uh, 20 or 50 components then what you can do you can just turn in on the component color cycling tool and it will automatically provide different colors to the different components so here you can see uh, it, it has provided me uh, the colors for the different component and uh, this colors has been assigned randomly so this this way it will be very easy for us to visualize the components so for since we are going to apply our custom material so i will just turn it off from here and i will go on to my modify panel here here you will be able to find the appearance uh, tool here i will activate this tool and inside the appearance tool uh, here you can see my appearance tool is active and inside my appearance tool i had all kind of materials so for this project we are going to use the plastic material so i will go on to the plastic material i will I am going to use the ABS white material for our uh, components so I will keep this material over here and then I will select one more material with the black color so for to search for the black color I will just write black and here you can see I am getting lots of options with black so for this I am going to use this plastic made black so I will keep this material so this is actually a place where you can keep your materials that you want to apply to your components so this way I am doing I will also keep my steel material uh, that I am going to apply on the blade for which I am going to use this stainless steel polished material so I will keep this as well so here you can see we had kept three kind of materials so uh, now we are going to apply those materials so here you can see right now uh, in the top option here where it is written applied to the bodies or component is selected so whenever we are applying to material it will get applied to the complete bodies or the components so I will drag simply click on this material and drag on our component like this so here you can see the color has been changed and the material has been applied similar way i will apply the same abs white to my base component also so here you can see and the third the black uh, this plastic made black i will apply on to the blade clip like this here you can see and for this blade i want to apply this stainless steel satin so i will apply from here so anywhere on your part you can just simply apply so this way here you can see we had applied our materials and now it is looking very good now so I will just close the appearance tool from here and here you can see the material has been applied and this is how it is looking now. So now it is looking much better than our previous model because we had applied the custom materials on our components. And so now uh, we are done with applying the custom material for the components. The next thing that we have to apply is the logo on this uh, on these faces so for that what we have to do is first we have to keep uh, first we have to download the logos in the PNG file format. So 
since I had already downloaded those uh, the logo and the instruction that, that I want to put in the PNG file format. Uh, when I say PNG file format, it's a image J image file format which is having a transparent background. So if you don't have any idea about what is PNG format, just go and Google it. You will be able to get your answer. So I will go on to here insert and here you can see the decals here. So decals, this is the tool that is uh, used. Uh, to apply logos on our logo or any instruction or any image uh, on our uh, 3d models so in the preview also you can see uh, you will have an idea you can get an idea so i will just activate my decal tool from here then i will uh, select a file from my computer i will go on to my desktop so here is my logo that i want to apply i will select this logo and will click on the open so here you can see it. Uh, the the file has been opened. Now it is asking me to select the face on which I want to apply. So this is the face I want to apply the image. So I will just select the face, and here you can see I'm getting the preview. So I just have to make sure that uh, we the orientation of this logo is right. So the from the grips here you can see that this is the top orientation. So I have to rotate my logo by 180 degree, like this. Here you can see, and then from this uh, these tools here I can scale my image. Um, little bit larger so it will fit inside that and from this pan tool i can position it in the right orientation here you can see so anytime if i want to uh, flip it i can flip this using uh, this these tools quickly so since our orientation is correct now i also i can change the opacity but i want to keep the opacity to 100 percent so i will just click on ok so here you can see my logo has been applied on this part so it is looking very nice now and it has been applied on the curved face like this so it's very nice it's it looks very good it looks very realistic and the next thing that is will repeat the same process to apply the instructions over here so i again i will go on to the insert uh, panel here and we'll activate our decal tool and then i will go on to insert from computer then we'll select the files this is our instruction file i want to apply i will click on the open then i will select my face onto which i want to apply so same manner we have to rotate this as well by 180 degree so i will just rotate it by 180 degree here you can see i had rotated it by 180 degree then i will scale it more bigger but like this to fit inside this face and then i will reorient it little bit uh, towards the bottom here you can see and I will press ok so these are the two things that we had finished so this is our model ready uh, ready with all the details and everything so guys uh, this was all about this tutorial and this is the last part of our video tutorial series so I and I believe that you guys have enjoyed watching this tutorial series and learned a lot about Fusion 360 so if you have any questions or any doubt regarding any of the tutorials uh, on this playlist then you can just comment below in the video or you can also reach to me on my discord server I will be able to find the link to my discord sub server in the video description below and I will strongly request you I will strongly recommend you to subscribe to my channel because I will keep creating contents like this that will be related to CAD designing 3d printing or maybe a little bit of about, about robotics or I, I I'm also posting little bit of uh, hack tutorials like uh, uh, how we can uh, solve um, particular problems uh, when you are doing these things like cat designing freelancing or robotics so please subscribe to my channel to see contents like this and don't forget to press the bell icon also so whenever i am posting such amazing videos you will give it you will be able to get the notifications so uh, thank you guys thank you so much for watching these tutorials and uh, i will keep creating contents like this and i request you to subscribe to my channel thank you